Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Commutech and I hope you are enjoying all my videos and learning something new from my YouTube channel and today we have a Lenovo ThinkPad L13 Core i5 12th generation of laptop and we have to do a clean operating system installation for this PC and in this video we will see how to enter the BIOS menu for this laptop and how to enter the boot menu for the laptop to access the USB bootable drives so let's power on this laptop first and when the Lenovo logo appears on the screen we have to hit the F1 key uh, to enter the BIOS here the Lenovo logo appears we press F1 key and we get into the BIOS of this laptop and uh, in this BIOS setup we have to ensure the USB is set to bootable we will check this USB configuration USB is uh, enabled and uh, now check the startup menu this is the start startup menu for this laptop in this boot option see see here that uh, USB drives are excluded from the boot menu so we can add them to the bootable options and uh, from here we will add this USB HDD which means the pen drive HDD to bootable so uh, here we can read that uh, the system says keys used to view or configure devices up arrow and down arrow select a device plus and minus move the device up or down and shift plus one enables or disables a device delete deletes an uh, unprotected device so we don't have to delete any device we need to enable the excluded device uh, to boot from usb so here the setup says that uh, press shift plus f1 key to enable or disable the device so these are the excluded device or uh, means that these devices are disabled to boot at the uh, booting time so from this we are going to enable this USB HDD by pressing shift and one key and now you can see that the uh, USB HDD has been moved upward and uh, this is in the boot uh, priority so let's go back and now check the boot option Here you can see boot device list F12 option it is disabled it means that at the booting time you can press F12 to select a boot device but if this the option is disabled then this F12 key will not function so to uh, keep it in function or to make it operational we have to enable this option in this BIOS so here we go and uh, let's see what this setup says f12 key is used to invoke a pop-up boot device list this option is only available when supervisor enters setup so as a supervisor we have entered the setup and now we can modify its value so here it says uh, select this key for sub menu and this, this so we are going to enter this here we can see that we have an enabled option here so we have to select the enable option and hit enter here the setup has enabled this uh, f12 option in this bios so at the boot time this uh, f12 key will work and uh, show us the boot list from which device we want to boot so uh, we have set the usb hdd to uh, boot included uh, device boot priority order and uh, uh, we have also enabled the f12 option in this bios so now to exit the BIOS by saving these settings we have to press F10 F10 here we have press F10 and have to confirm whether we do it or not so we are in so we will hit the yes option and this laptop will restart now we are going to hit the F12 button at the same pro at the same time when the logo appears on the screen here we enter the F12 option and now there are options to uh, boot from the devices but as we have not connected the usb device so it is not showing in the boot list so we have to connect it first 
uh, here we have entered the USB drive and will restart this uh, laptop again by pressing the control alt and delete button and we'll repeat the same process which uh, we done uh, we will press the F12 key when the Lenovo logo appears on the screen and here the setup has entered the boot menu and now we can see that we have the USB HDD SanDisk Cruiser Blade from in the boot list. So now we will select select this uh, uh, our USB pen drive and hit the enter key and Windows will start booting from the USB drive and we can perform the clean Windows installation for this laptop. So here we are going to install a 64 bit of operating system. Here we will select the next button. We'll click on install now. We have to accept the license terms and click next and here the setup says which type of installation do you want upgrade or a custom install upgrade install windows and key file settings and application as in they are or a custom installs windows only advanced so we are going to install a fresh windows for this laptop so we will go for the custom installation and we'll hit enter here also and now we can see the drives partition uh, present here so we have to delete all the partitions first and then we have to make fresh partition for this system so we have to select uh, single single partition and hit the enter then the another and then the another now we can see that we have uh, 238.5 gb of available space in this uh, systems drive so we have we are going to, we can use the complete uh, space for the single partition or we can split it in two or three parts assigning 115 gb of uh, and the rest of the space i am going to create for the data storage now we have to select the c partition in which the setup will install the windows and hit the enter key and you can see that the setup has started installation for the present drive and it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete Here you can see the setup has completed copying files and uh, Windows is uh, asking for some settings to complete the process and we have to select the things according to our country and region. So just select your preferences and go to the next step. Again, next. Okay, I am not connecting this uh, setup uh, at the present with the internet, otherwise it will take a lot of time to update. The name Lenovo and clicking the next button, escaping the password. So here we have completed installing windows for this laptop and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to enter the BIOS uh, menu for this uh, PC and how to enter the boot menu to boot from USB drive to install windows for this laptop. So if you liked my video please give me a like and uh, please hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel.